OnePlus 10T is very good a smartphone with premium build quality, a great display, top tier performance and insanely fast charging speeds. At $650, it's also one of the best value high-end smartphones with Qualcomm's powerful and power-efficient Snapdragon 8 Plus Zen 1 chipset. It's the first time a OnePlus T phone is being sold alongside the older model while also bearing a near identical design, but the two phones have quite a lot of differences under their hoods. Thankfully, the OnePlus 10T is a superb phone, but it does struggle to justify its price given the existence of company's own Nord 2T, which has the same rear cameras, performs well for a mid-ranger, and costs a lot less. You had been forgotten for mistaking the OnePlus 10T for the older OnePlus 10 Pro given their very similar looking rear plates. On the 10T, the camera module has four distinctive rings with three camera lenses joined by a circular flash in the top right position. I didn't like the look at first but it has grown on me much like the green hue of my Z Brin review sample has. Its glossy finish made of Corning Gorilla Glass 5 instantly picks up fingerprints but does make the phone grippier and is finished off with glossy silver side rails. It's good looking, great feeling phone although it slides off flat surfaces including devils with the slightest nudge a case is required to avoid impact disaster. The camera bump melts into Unibeauty frame beautifully with no seams though I suspect the matte finish of the alternative Moonstone black model which is and I quote inspired by texture of bezelt would better evade fingerprints and appeal more to most color cautions smartphone buyers. Sorely missed on the 10T is OnePlus signature alert slider, the small three position switch that changes many of the company's other phones from ring to vibrate to silent and has been present on all its flagship until now, including 2020's 10 Pro and mid range Nord 2T. OnePlus says it left it of the 10T as the component takes up space inside the device which would have had to have been thicker and bigger to accommodate it as well as large two cell battery. The company preferring the latter Apple puts a two position mute switch on its all iPhones but no other Android manufacturers have such a hardware switch and it's a shame it's not on the 10T. The only buttons on the phones are the power or lock button on the right edge and a single piece volume rocker on the left. On the bottom edge there's a USB-C port and a down firing speaker that pairs with the thin earpiece at the top of the phone to create a stereo pair. Haptics on the 10T are tight and punchy, though on the default setting the keyboard feedback makes an audible ding when it is very quiet that I found a little annoying, otherwise the physical feedback from the system is very good. One small thing to note is there's only a free protective case included in the box in India with the rest of the world missing out. The phone also does not have an official IP rating for dust and water resistance, which is frustrating at, the, at this price.